Hello adventurers, we're back after that whole 10.7 fiasco, looks like we're on 10.71 and it's Dungeons and Dragons Neverwinter again. Let's go ahead and look at what we got, VIP bags that we need to get. There's also something in our home, so let's go check out what we have there. I think it's down here, it says clean valuables. We have something to claim here. Off Valley takes stock of life battle pass. I heard that that was part of what they had in the patch notes. So let's take that. Okay. Um, and then let's go ahead and change into a healer and see if we have a dungeon. Who knows after the server's coming up, if there's going to be much activity. Let's go ahead and queue up as. A DPS or a skirmish <laughs> and see if there's something going on here in Roth Valley. There is. Let's go over there. Getting things done. We are late to the game, but we had to because of the uh, issues they were having. Let's see, we're on one. Is there anybody going to come here? Might not be able to do this today. Let's see how long that skirmish takes to pop. Q. Looks like we accomplished something else. Um, down here in the campaigns, we have Roth Valley. Looks like we did another milestone. Yep, we did. Let's get this. And looks like there's an engagement going on right now. Let's get the queue going. So I'm imagining, just like me, a lot of you downloaded that big patch and then got the blue screen. Hey, I didn't Rex realize Razor reminding you I was that your follow me. This keeps so gamer happy. After I finished downloading and got the blue screen, found out that there was an issue. Um, when I rebooted, 10.71 came out. So I let it do its thing. And this is the first moment that I get on it. I went over all the patch notes that were online on a previous video and it looks like they nerfed a bunch of things mainly the one I'm looking forward to is Tiamat so that'll be fun to try and it looks like the, dr the, r the rings that everybody wanted even though they're nerfed now they, now they drop more often Alright, this adventuring group is doing well. Moving right along. Server seem to be working okay. And do I have a companion on me? Yes. They also rebalanced a bunch of dungeons, so that's good. Let's see, where are we? On this side? We're on this side. We have a cleric, a rogue, another warlock, and a fighter. Everybody's in DPS. Nope. The cler one of the cleric, the cleric actually is in uh, healing mode. So we already saw. I was able to change into a healer because they said something about 
the Paragon paths and some kind of glitch that they corrected that some people might have to redo their Paragon path. Hopefully it doesn't affect either of my characters. Peter's doing a pretty good job. I like it like do do do. Let's see what else we got. And this adventuring group is moving right along. Love it. An insignia of aggression. Red Iron Golem. Hold on the rocks. Alright, let's charge our daily. Charge our Avenus trinket. And it's time for Garakas. The Colts champion. This here is the champion of the Colts. Let's see how the champions does against this adventuring group. Champion is down. Going backstage to regroup for the next adventuring party. Let's grab our rewards for the first chest. Let's get a skeleton key. Hopefully we get something good from the skeleton key. Do you have us? See? We didn't break even, so I'm going to reroll. There we go, we broke even, so I want to take that. Let's go ahead and back to Roth Valley and change into a healer. Need a refresh on it. Press the pad to switch between HUD status and your mission tracker. You can press circle to return to the game. If you want to regenerate your health, you can use potions and stones of health. We don't all outside of combat. We're going to party with a healer. Hey, we got just in time. Looks like the skirmish took less time. And it took for them to defeat the spider. And we got in here just in time. So we accomplished that too. Let's see if we can change. No, we can't. We need to go to a healing campfire. Let's do that. And I believe we're now getting more currency from those heroics that we weren't getting. We were getting two or three depending on what we were doing. So now we're getting 10 or 20 maybe. Um, currency change in a character. Q, they need a healer. No, they don't. So it's just, just go ahead and queue up with the DPS. Now they need a healer. Let's do it. Healer at your service. Let's see if we get in there. Alright, and I understand there's something to pick up from the rewards claim agent at Protector's Enclave. Ah, Protector's Enclave. Let's go there. 
You may find dye bottles or packs in your travels. To use them, select that dye item in your inventory to add it to your color library. Heard it here first if you hadn't heard it before. If your inventory starts to fill up, you should visit a vendor and sell some items. If you come across anything particularly valuable though, you may wish to use the auction house and protector's enclave instead. Most monsters are aggressive and will attack you if they notice you. Alright, we're in Protective Zonka. We're going to go to the Rewards Claim Agent. I read that there was somebody, that, something there. I also read that those new hand mounts are fixed. They had some kind of issue and they're now fixed. So let's see, the Rewards Claim Agent has something for us. What might that be? Um. Maybe we got it when first entered. Through the home screen, maybe. A rank five. Cursed burn rank five. I already have those. Let me see. This character. Companion equipment. We have this already. What was the other? First burn. We already have all that. And we can get some more of that. Hmm. I don't see it there. Maybe we'll do it afterwards. We have some legacy campaign. Each week, my to pick up. See what's going on here with the queue. They're looking for a tank, I believe. Are there no tanks available? Is that what's going on? Protectors on play needs your help. Alright, what else is there? Discount currency dread ring. Let's go to dread ring currency then. Ice Pirate Peak is high in the Sword Mountains legend has its powerful ice giant named Lakar opened a portal to the elemental. When Mount Hanu erupted, it destroyed most of Neverwinter. The southeast part of the city was swallowed up by a mysterious rift now known as the Chasm. Let's see, Red Wizards. Let's accept this queue. They're checking who's still ready. Let's grab this. Quest, quest guru, contingency. A sphere of annihilation. Anything that touches the sphere. And we're swept into the dungeon. Castle never survived the cataclysm. Della's own dwarves claim to have found Lost Gontogrim, but need help reclaiming it from the denizens of the Underdark. We are in Malabox Castle. We're about to face a dragon at the end of this. Every adventurer's dream. 
And who is the tank? Kyria. Oh, Kyria. Hey, right, mark them. Charge up our daily. Marking. Oh, hit points for myself, but not for everybody else. I get some in there. Power, call on Pegasus for the assist. Give him hit points. Pillar of Power. I think a lot of boss bosses were. Nerfed, so let's see what happens. Blue with Thunder Ninja. Hey, Blue Thunder Said. Ninja. Good evening, Rex. Good evening. Did you have the uh, whole 10.7 fiasco go happen to you? I'm on 10.7. Blue with Thunder Ninja. One. Said. I can't even play. Yeah, so the. Uh, so if so if you downloaded and then got that blue screen or whatever, um, what, you just go on there and it'll download blue with a Thunder Ninja. patch and give you 10.71. 26 gig download. Nine hours to go. Oh, you got nine hours. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Um, it was a long, very long download and. Hey, at the end of it, I got a blue screen. You know that your and I was like, oh no, what's going happy. on? And so I found out that. Everybody was having the same problem, and uh, they were working on it until just a few minutes ago. I mean, I literally was waiting for them to fix it, um, and they changed. They updated it. Blue with Thunder Ninja. Seven to ten point seven one. Said. And Internet here is crap, so it's going slow. I hear you. Well, lucky for you, you didn't get to see the the blue screen then. So it has this plus. Um, and then, uh, so what I did while it was downloading it, because it was so long, <laughs> I did a little stream where I went over the patches. I didn't in intend to do that. I was just going to browse and whatever. And I ended up just going over what the patch notes were. And then it was just still taking so long, so I, I shut down the stream because I wanted the uh, I wanted to download faster. And then... Uh, Finally, Blue with Thunder we Ninja. looked at the uh, Twitter said, and it said that it's still only 10.7. I will probably have to do 10.71. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's quick. It's quick. Once it's some, it, it it's almost like negligible download. Once, once the 10.71 kicks in, so I think once that finishes, it'll do like. Uh, if you try to go into it, it'll say, oh, you need to do an update, and then 10.71 will be almost automatically done. Like, it's it's a very small up uh, download. I don't know what, what it was, but I didn't even see the download bar at all. All I saw was that it was, uh, that it was um, installing. So, you know what happened? I, I'm speculating. This is just a 100% guess, but something about what they did didn't allow it to install after the download because I thought it was strange once it downloaded that it didn't go through the install process and I was like why does it give me a blue screen why didn't it do that and then it was giving me a blue screen 
so once they did 10.71 um, all of a sudden there was a very long install not like not like a quick install for like a quick download that they did for 10.71 it's it's almost like it enabled the full install so in any case it's finally working so uh, oh and once I once that was finished uh, their servers were offline and so I kept on trying to like kept on pressing the button like let's see if they I can go in now let's see if I can go in now and finally I could go in but it looks like they did a bunch of good stuff for like Tiamat they nerfed a bunch of stuff in Tiamat and fixed a bunch of stuff that was happening there uh, I think bosses a lot of the bosses in a lot of the dungeons got got nerfed um, so I'm looking forward to not today because it's just running out of run out of time you know <laughs> but like blue with under and some of the higher dungeons now said buff Pelly and Wiz. they did I don't remember reading that in particular but maybe they did blue with under ninja said wow 20 percent Pelly got a 20 percent damage boost when solo well that's good is that for the uh the healer pally or for the, for the tanking pally? I'm gonna imagine it's for the tanking one. Because nobody wants to play a tanking one from what I can tell because it's always in demand. That's good, that's very good. Blue with Thunder Ninja said. Yeah, cause it's only class without DPS Paragon and both I think. Yes. It's it's healing and uh tanking. So I'm imagining if with the twenty percent on the on the tanking. Not necessarily the healing, but they did a ton of changes. Apparently some special rings that you would get from the vault of whatever it is. Um, have been nerfed and but now the drop rate is higher They're not as rare anymore and some combinations of other newer rings were fixed because you wouldn't get the extra for having two of them now you're getting the extra bunch of interesting stuff I'm just running through my dungeons for today. Dungeon skirmishes real quick. Um, so I'm not going to look at anything in detail, but in the next few days I will. Now that I control it's Melabong! Oh yeah, look at that. Malabog took a good hit. Blue with Thunder Ninja said, "Your band of air and ring of darkness, the Boas from using both were nerfed." Yep, yep, yep. I didn't have either, so no problemo. But yeah, they were nerfed, all right. But like a bunch of like a, there was a there was a section where it talked about certain bosses and certain dungeons, like like the Tiamat thing and then separately there was another section that talked about a bunch of dungeons got the bosses nerfed, nerfed. just in general like in all these and they listed them blue with thunder ninja they got nerfed said I want darkness it's a, it's tank, a tank ring yeah it's a tanking ring nice well, now I'm gonna run those dungeons. See what's going on there. They did uh, some things. You know how you said the black Blue dragon Thunder is Ninja. the hardest dragon. They nerfed said. the black dragon. Fifteen percent awareness, I think. Nice. Blue with Thunder Ninja said yes finally finally right
and those rings were doing something crazy. They were, they were apparently, um, they were apparently like everything. Every time some other stuff was proccing, they were proccing as well. So they were doing a lot more than they were supposed to do. Here we go. We're already at Valindra's. I have to tell you that maybe everybody's wanting to go quickly too because they just got back on. But um, both of this dungeon and skirmish <laughs> went real quick and I got lucky that I fell inside the... Uh, like I started to do the heroic and then it took me into the skirmish and then the skirmish ended before the heroic was done so when it popped me back in there I, I got the finish for the heroic. So, the Warlock has got a uh, good time. Oh, I, keep, I keep doing my mount power without meaning to. Poor uh, developers over there. I mean, they had to work late today for sure. Right, the dragon is gone again. Fairly quick. Fairly quick. Yeah, I was wondering, you know, I mean, the characters are not really super far behind or anything, and it's like, I was always on my knees begging, please. So, it feels like I should right now. Go. A little power followed up with some encounters. Oh, get out of there. Don't want to get caught by Valindra. I guess this is for the last little thing here. Dragon's down. Excellent. Thank the group. Grab the first chest 7,936. Grab a skeleton key, do you have as we were taught to do. Grab that. We gotta break even. Let's see if we break even. We broke even. Let's take it. Let's see what we got in total. Inventory, riches, and all this stuff. Blue with Thunder Ninja said, "Ring of Darkness Sari reduces target's accuracy by 10%." Nice. Seventy thousand seven sixty-three. For the day for the warlock, I'm happy with that. Let's go ahead and whoa, hey! Good, big piece of meat there. Uh, a big wing, or what do you call that? Big thigh or something. All right, I'm gonna switch on over to the uh, cleric. Do this all over again. Why can't I stop my movement so I can turn around? There you go.